Hi, this is George Patchen, a solutions consultant for OpenText, and I'd like to take you through the Guidewire integration with the Extreme platform demo today. So what we're looking at here is the login screen for Claim Center in Guidewire. So we're going to go ahead and log in, and let's start by creating a new claim. So let's go search for an insured. And you see that we have an insured here and we're going to uh, pick a loss date and then we'll begin the process of creating a claim. So we're going to uh, again pick our insured's name. We'll choose a vehicle that was involved in this accident and we'll put in an email address so that we can send some correspondence to this insured via email. Okay, so we'll continue on here and we'll put a little description and a loss cause and a location. And then we'll assign our claim to our claim agent and click finish. So what's happened here is we sent a request over to the extreme platform requesting a document to be generated for a claim acknowledgement. So we'll come in here and take a look at our claim that we created and go to the documents section. And we see that we have a claim acknowledgement PDF that was delivered back to the Guidewire uh, documents area um, via the Extreme platform. So we uh, again made a request to Extreme to create the claim acknowledgement document. We generated that document and then we delivered that document back to Guidewire. So this is an example where there is no interactive editing required and we just simply needed to create a document. But now we're gonna go in and we're gonna create a new document from a template that we have created. We'll go ahead and do a search here. And if I search and look here, I have an interactive letter that's a claim estimate using our Empower Interactive Editor. So we'll go ahead and select that document and I'm gonna click Create Document. And when I do this, we send a request over to Extreme and this time we're creating an interactive document that we can go in and personalize and edit for this particular client. So we'll just wait a moment here for that document to get created and we see that our Empower document was created. I'm gonna click Update, and then we see that it's been added to the claim in the Documents area. So we're gonna go in now, and when I click here on this Empower document, we're launching our interactive editor inside of the Guidewire UI. So therefore, the uh, Guidewire user doesn't have to leave Guidewire and go into another editor uh, or another um, area to edit this document. We simply present it straight back to that person here in Guidewire. So you'll see that we have some areas in the document that are not highlighted. None of those areas can be edited by our user, but you'll see that we have the date is highlighted. And when I click on that date, we get a date object that we can pick um, a different date for this letter if we need to. And you'll also see down here that we have an area that's in yellow, which highlights that we really need to put something there instead of our generic text. So I'll type in some text here. And now also you'll see that we've got some 
numeric values here on this table that we can also uh, edit. So here, I'm gonna just update this one. Uh, we found that the hospital cost was actually $500. And you'll see that when I click inside the table, all the math is done and resolved. So a couple of features here in the uh, Empower Editor. One is preview. So if I click on the preview button, I can get a view of what this will look like, what the document will look like when we uh, send it out. So I can take a look at that. Uh, that, looks, uh, that looks good to me. So I'm going to click this and uh, we'll save the document. And uh, now I'm going to return to the documents section. And you'll see that I have a button here that I can press that says finalize. So when I click the button that says finalize, you'll notice I can no longer edit that document here. Uh, what I did is using Guidewire's workflow, I've passed this document on to uh, my manager who will, will approve this before the document actually gets sent. So let's log out of Andy and let's go log in as Sue, who's the manager in this case. And I'm going to take a look at, uh, uh, at any open tasks. And you'll see that, I, uh, that Sue has an open task here for an extreme document that was submitted for approval. So she can come in here. And she can take a look at that document. Uh, we're gonna, she's gonna view it before it goes out. And you'll see that the document again is being presented to me um, or to Sue in the uh, interactive editor. So as she scrolls through here, she sees that the date was changed to the 21st, that's fine. And uh, she notices that Andy's a little bit of a jokester here, uh, recommending that the client not hit anything else. So uh, we're gonna remove that because uh, Sue feels that we need to be a little more professional in this case. So we'll take that out. Uh, she's gonna save that. Uh, that edit, and she's going to return to the uh, uh, overview of this document. And she's satisfied with the document now, so she's going to press approve document and complete. So when she does that, you'll see a couple of things happen here. One, the document has now left her queue, so she's completed that task. But what happened with the accelerator uh, with the Extreme Platform is we've taken that and submitted that document back to the Extreme Platform to create the final versions of that document uh, based on the edits that were done. So let's log out of Sue and let's return to Andy. And when we return to Andy, we're gonna go back in and we're gonna see what the results were. So I'm returning to uh, Andy and uh, he's gonna take a look at that claim right here. And if, if Andy goes to the documents area, you'll see there's two new documents that have arrived. One is an approved claim estimate PDF. So he takes a look at that. And if this was being mailed uh, uh, you know, via a hard copy, he would see that. He notices that, that Sue got rid of his uh, let's call it a snide remark, I guess, to the client. Uh, and uh, the date is the same, the, uh, the numeric values are the same. And the other thing that was generated during this was an HTML email. So we'll take a look at that and you see that the email uh, also has the proper date on it. Uh, it has the comment that uh, was settled on there and it also has the table is updated with the correct information. And now if I come over here to the Gmail account, uh, you'll see that we actually sent that document to the uh, client. Uh, and we did that using the Open Text Notification Service, which is also tightly integrated with our Extreme platform. So uh, we offer that service uh, because if you're generating emails, uh, you certainly need a way to deliver them and the open text notification service uh, provides a very functionally robust environment in which to do that. So that concludes our demo here today of uh, the Guidewire integration with the Extreme platform.
Thanks for watching.